the oil. So I did this battery last night with some uh, alum. I just, as soon as I got home, I put some alum in there. This is my control battery, this one. Got some flocculate from Bunnings. You see it tends to crystallize, so I don't want to add too much. So, two kilogram bag of flocculate, which is uh, alum I need. In there. There's no acidity in these either. Not, not even eating the dirt away. It's neutral. pH neutral. This is the most buggered batch out of a lot of these I'm going to convert. This cell is the only sort of, just seems to have the most activity out of them all. Yep, it's all dissolved in there. Let's give it a test. Just sit that on there for now. Give it a try to something to do. Alright, get my multimeter out and see what I, what's changed on it. That's the one I got there. Two kilogram bag. Alright. Do it the um, tripod less way, eh? I'll put the uh, camera there. See if I can get this right here. The limit I've got. Okay. Do it the tripod freeway. 12.13 volts with the uh, flocculant in the cells. 0.13 volts. Do a basic short circuit test and the little one strand of this, one strand, that one strand didn't even glow red hot. So, to begin with, this battery was, is completely buggered. So it's probably good for a very low power setup, which is what I'm going to use it for. Let's convert our next battery over. Alright, my ratio I'm using, 100 grams per uh, litre of our uh, water. Not completely done yet. I've got to drain it down and flatten it right out. Completely um, drain the voltage down and that'll form the plates. Then it's ready to go. Anyway, let's uh, short it out. It's not going to do anything to short it out because it's so damn damaged to begin with, but this will help form what's left of the plates in there. Then it's ready to go. This needs a better one. Nice and dry. Looking pretty good what's left of those plates in there. Yeah, well that one there is pretty shabby. They're pretty thinned out those plates and falling apart. Hopefully there's enough in there to give me some decent results. So let's mix up our ratio. Now I've seen people add Epsom salts to this as well to help give more reactivity. So I might end up doing later on. Put some Epsom salts in there to um, boost the uh, reactivity. I might get more reactive to get me some more um, amps. Anyway, let's add the uh, Mix and start doing this battery. Gotta buy another bag. It's got a kilo left. I did two, ba two batteries so far. I did that one there and that one there and a little wash one next. Pure aluminium sulfate, it's all you need. Now I will add the Epsom salts later if I'm not, if I'm not happy with the amp output because the Epsom salts will make this more reactive on the output. I'm gonna put some water in that to rinse that out and then Carefully top the cells up. I don't boil over much, but just get the cells nice and level there. That'll be enough. Nice and topped up. Alright, now I have to cycle the other first battery, cycle it a couple of times to get the plates to form. I'll set this to boost desulfate mode. Yep, uh, getting some activity in there. Yep, it's going. Yep, we're going. Here we are.
All right, let's uh, get that first batch here and put a load in it and let it get right flat. And I'll cycle it a couple of times to form the plates. Then it's truly ready. But, um, the characteristics of this charge up quite quick too. You read up about it, so it's good for uh, an off-grid setup. Charge it one hour overnight. That will drain it to uh, form the other plates there. I think the charging it will um, form the positive plates, I think. Then draining it down forms the um, negative plates. I think that's how it went. But anyway, let's uh, shake it up, mix it in. Alright. This needs to give me the best results, I reckon, because of the condition. Yeah. Dinner tomorrow, let that charge overnight, put that in, charge it straight away. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks a lot.